6 starts now. New chopper video showing smoke rising over Lake Berryessa as the county fire continues to burn out of control. Thanks for sticking with us at 6 o'clock tonight. I'm Eric Crocker. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Here's the latest on the county fire. It is currently burning in three counties. Those counties are Yolo, Lake, and Napa. We now know close to 45,000 acres have burned since flames sparked on Sunday. Crews have been working around the clock to get a handle on this fire, but as of right now, it is just 3% contained, and there are mandatory evacuations in place right now. We do have team coverage for you tonight. Chief Meteorologist Christina Werner in the Weather Center tracking conditions. Ken Masenshi and Turlock, where smoke has dry drifted more than two hours away, prompting bad air quality concerns. But first tonight at six, we're going to start with Fox 40's Doug Johnson live in Yolo County, where fire crews are working hard to protect the town of Glinda. Hi, Doug. Yeah, Eric, and as you guys can see, uh, the air quality has only gotten worse since we first started talking to you at five o'clock. And as you can imagine, that is just terrible visibility for some of the aircraft in the area. So when we were hearing uh, maybe a couple hours ago, helicopters and planes making drops on the hillside, you can no longer see behind us. Uh, they have since stopped because the visibility is so bad in this area. And again, that's just making uh, fighting this fire even more challenging. That whole hillside was ablaze, and then the canyon up here where you can see the smoke coming up was a solid black column. So they're knocking the hell out of it. Riley Harger is keeping an eye on the firefight. And Gwenda, he's gauging how far the flames are from his house, which isn't too far away. Highway 49, right over in that canyon. So it's marching my way. So far, the county fire has burned more than 40,000 acres. At Lake Berryessa to the southwest, we couldn't see any flames from Highway 128, but the road has been closed anyway. It's crew stage there just in case. We're responsible for doing structure defense for all the structures around here. Craig Hollis is a firefighter for the Cafe Valley Fire Department, the local agency who's preparing residents in Gwenda to evacuate on a moment's notice. He's giving them this advice. Be safe, be cautious, be observant, uh, be aware of the conditions. Uh, be ready. That's what Harger did on his property today. Making sure my stuff is ready, you know, go and clean up, make sure the fire tanks are up, uh, the water's on. As a retired Oakland firefighter, he likes his property's chances of surviving the county fire. Until it jumps that canyon right there, then it's all bets are off. Yeah, and the one thing that firefighters say has really surprised them uh, during this fire is just how fast it's been able to spread. Again, within the first day, we're told it was growing by a thousand acres per hour, which is why it's grown to so many acres now. Reporting live in Yolo County tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. All right, Doug, thank you. Mandatory evacuations from.